Morning guys! It's Sunday and we're just getting ready for church. We went to bed pretty late last night because I was editing the vlog and I hope you guys liked it. Jesse ironed his own shirt! Oh my gosh! What did you think of your wife's spy yesterday? Whole knife. Yeah, I'm sure he thought it was so nice because he ate like half of the tin. We ran out of custard last night, so we're gonna buy some more custard after um, church. That's the other one. The only thing I'd have to say is I made the pastry a little bit too thin, but we learn for next time. Come on now. I'm just watching Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah, and now we gotta go. We're here at church, and I'm literally waiting for this to be uploaded. <laughs> Cool, let's go. Let's go inside. Okay. Hey guys. We are going to the swimming pool. Yay! No, we're not. It's Sunday. Sunday. Guys, we just finished church and we're on our way home. We're going, no, we're going to Coles first to pick up some more custard. Like uncle, like nephew. Don't know why are your pants dirty. Did you poo poo in them? <laughs> I'll sue you. And you'll go to people's court if you do that. <laughs> if you put that on YouTube, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see you. Mm. Oh. Yeah, that guy. oh my goodness. <gasps> These are only two dollars sixty-two, babe. It really wants us to take one. You've already got enough of them. Of oh, what them? Of anything, you've already got enough toys. Shopping. Danielle, you want me to bore you in front of these all these people? Yeah. Make you cry? No. See us, he's embarrassed because he's wearing an ear fake on and everyone's looking at him thinking he's wearing a skirt. Boy, please, you ain't proud to be Samoan? Are you proud to be Samoan? Yeah. 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 We're looking for the crushed peanuts. Crushed peanuts? Can you guys help me instead of dicking around? What? Crushed you peanuts. Peanuts? Are you looking for peanuts? What is a peanut? That's an almond. I'm looking for crushed peanuts. Hey guys, I just am making my um, custard again. It's done now. It's taken me like 30 minutes and the consistency is perfect you can tell as well because it's light in color it's nice and soft I, I overcooked it yesterday i think that's what happened um but it's perfect and i'm so happy <laughs> give me your teeth papa <laughs> guys i really just want to tell you that i did a fantastic job on this second one the second batch of custard What's your re what's your review? Beautiful. What's your review? <laughs> this is polissimo. Fantastico. Brandastrana. De Doronda. Ting tang kai ngo e. This is 10 out of 10. Yay! Actually, I changed my mind. This is 6 out of 10. Cuz I need the whole tray for myself. <laughs> 10 to 10 out of 10. It's mine and CSC's date night tonight. Oh my gosh, look at my hair. You could have told me my hair was ugly. So nice. <laughs> this guy says anything I do is so nice. Sure, she made me go all the way, run all the way bare feet, all the way down there, and all the way back. Which isn't that far, Daniel. I know, but oh, sure, look. Look, for the camera. Look. All the way down there. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Hey. Guys, we're so upset because, well, the GPS Google map told us that the Kimchi Korean restaurant closed at 9.30 and it's bloody closed. There's a lot of, um, this is like a street of, strip of foods and restaurants, so... We're just trying to see what else we can get. Oh, we ended up coming to a Malaysian restaurant. So I think next weekend we will go to Outback Jack's and just keep it safe. 
maybe we'll try the Korean barbecue another time because I don't think that restaurant's gonna open anytime soon. It's open soon. This is Siossi's first time trying Asian food because he, I don't know what it is, but in Samoa they hate Asian, Malaysian, Korean, anything. It, he was very hesitant to try the Korean barbecue, so he was quite happy that they were closed. <laughs> And I dragged him into this Malaysian one because it's the only one open on this strip at the moment. It's because he thinks that there's going to be... Cats and dogs. Cats and dogs in them. But I'm like, this is Australia, this is not Samoa. Okay, honey, that's enough. But we're trying to make this like a weekly thing, a weekly thing where we come out and just spend time together because it's a marriage must that you have a date night with your husband. Just because you're married doesn't mean you don't do those things anymore. One of our followers asked for love advice, that's one of them. We got nasi goreng. Um, so yes, you got deep fried chicken in plum sauce, and I think I got something. Yes, thank you. Oh, nice. Um, I got like a Malaysian favorite. I don't even know what it's called, to be honest. This is chicken. This guy trying to copy me. I didn't do Japanese seven years for nothing. Bangala. This is the restaurant, guys. <coughs> Looks like I've just entered like the 1960s or something. Tends to realistic take our stuff for tomorrow. Take our tuna for me for my lunch. And what else? And that's it. And that's it. Boom. But my sister's about to try. Bye bye. More reviews and her fiance. So I really want to know what they think. So we're gonna film them. <laughs> Mums. You have to come back. It is really good. Make really good. So more about my detox, I'm going to have two kale smoothies a day, one for breakfast and lunch and a salad for dinner. I'm going to do that for two weeks straight. I'm letting y'all know because I'm putting it out there. And if I don't follow through, then the whole world will think I'm a failure. I'm pretty excited actually. And I've got a schedule. We both set up a schedule of gym days as well. So I'll be going possibly f five days a week. So now can you please get out? Okay, bye-bye. The restaurant that we went to tonight was like pretty... The food was okay, but the vibe was like weird. There wasn't... There was no one there when we were in there, but we were pretty late, so that's probably why. The other thing was, it was like I felt like I was in the 1960s. It was just a weird vibe. I just wasn't expecting our date night to be like that, but hopefully next time it's pretty good. Anyways, the food was all right, so that's what we paid for. Why are you going on a date night if you're already married? That's exactly the mentality that we're trying to cancel. Did you hear that? Because it's so common. People think that just because you're married or just because you've got kids, you don't need date nights. Do not conform to that mentality. You need to keep your marriage spiced up all the time. You can't get comfortable in marriages because that's when they start to break down. You have to act as if it's your first... That honeymoon stage needs to flow on. I mean, you don't need to feel airy-fairy for the whole of your marriage because there are some times where you're going to fight and you're going to feel ain't mad and angry at each other. But too many times, people think once they have kids, they don't need to do all that stuff. They don't need to take care of themselves. They don't need to, you know, get the hair down or get the nails down or look nice because, you know, they're already taken. But it's like, you look nice for that person. The main reason why 
I'm trying to lose weight is not just so that I can feel great because it's something that I've battled with for a long time. Part of being with each other, with a significant other, is you need to bring out the best in them. And I feel like my husband is bringing the best out of me. He's helping me to achieve that goal. And that's one of the main reasons is so that I'm doing it for myself and my health. And I'm doing it for my husband so that I can give him the best edition of me. It's a little bit past 11 and I'm preparing my breakfast and my lunch for tomorrow. Also, I realized if you're watching this and I uploaded it on time, it's my birthday today. So happy birthday to me. Feel free to comment down below. It's my birthday. It should be Tuesday if I uploaded it on time. Um, but I just want to thank the Lord Jesus take this time to just thank him praise him I'll let you know next weekend if anyone got me anything <laughs> and how it went okay bye bye we love you so much bye if you like it subscribe if you like it if you like it, subscribe. If, if you like it, subscribe. <laughs>